Hi there, it's Misty. Welcome to my channel. All right, who doesn't need more masculine cards in their stash? I know I certainly do. For some reason, I have a hard time making cards for men or boys. So we had an Anything Goes challenge this week at the Simon Says Stamp Wednesday challenge. We are showcasing products from Stampendous. And I've had this stamp called Wheels for a little bit now, and I just haven't used it. So I thought this was a perfect, perfect opportunity to use it. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to make a masculine card today. Is it still called a masculine card if it's for a kid? I don't know, but I'm making a male themed card today. How's that? So I'm starting out on some Express It blending card that is Copic friendly. And of course I stamped it out a couple times. I don't know, I just always do this in case I mess up, which I did. You can see my first one there. I didn't like how I did the rims, so I'm, I'm just gonna recolor it. It's really small, I did really simple coloring, so uh, it, it was really easy to just color it again really quick. So I'm doing some BGs on the top part. I thought the teal and the orange looked really good together. And then instead of doing the black rims, I Googled um, monster trucks, made me wanna go to a monster truck show. We haven't been to one in quite a while, but um, a lot of them have rims that match the, the body. So that's what I did. I didn't like the gray. So I'm just gonna quickly color my little truck here. I think I'm using BG13, BG23, and BG13. And then I'm going to do YR04 and YR07 for the bottom part. This was the only monster truck in the stamp set, but it had a couple different cars and it had a motorcycle. But, you know, we love monster trucks in this household, so I figured I would go this one. I had my kid in mind, so that's... That's kind of what I, when I'm making a kid's card, I kind of keep him in mind and try to think if he would like it. And then, you know, for older masculine cards, then I'll have somebody else in mind. But I try to make cards that I think my loved ones would like. Does anybody else do that? Or is it just me? So I'm just keeping the um, tires pretty simple. Keeping it in the C family. I think it's C6, 5, and 3. I got a nice blend with these colors. It's one of the best things about Copic markers is just watching how smoothly they blend together sometimes. I wish I could draw because then I could turn this into Grave Digger or what are some of the other ones? Swamp Thing. That Grave Digger uh, monster truck sure gets around. Seems to hit up all the monster truck shows all over the place. I wonder if they have multiples of the same truck or if it's really just the same truck that goes all over the place. Seriously, I think, I mean, I, I think that thing goes to like every monster truck show. There's got to be multiples of the same truck, I would think. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, we're keeping it simple with... Teal and orange. Kind of, there's a, uh, it reminds me of, what's that cartoon? Scooby-Doo. Isn't this Scooby-Doo colors, teal and orange? I'm getting a total Scooby-Doo vibe looking at this thing, so I think it is. Isn't the van teal and orange? Or teal and, teal and green maybe? Maybe it's teal and green. I don't know, when I look at it, I think it's Scooby-Doo, so I'm going with it. All right, now that I got my monster truck colored, I'm gonna just quickly fussy cut it out. And then I'll set that aside. Yes, I had to go around all the little tire grooves. Had to make it look, um, you know, the tread on the tire. Had to make it look like, make the tread stand out. I thought I did a mighty fine job fussy cutting this one out. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside. Loving this diamond pattern stamp, background stamp by Simon Says Stamp. And I think it's perfect for masculine cards. So I am going to heat emboss it with some silver. I just recently discovered that 
Uh, wow embossing powder has a bonding powder, which you can foil over the top of that. And I think, I wish I would have had that to make this car because I think it would have looked really cool with a metallic-y silver. Well, it is, it still turns out to be metallic-y silver with the silver embossing powder, but I still want to try it out with um, the silver foil over it. I think it would look really cool. I'm using the L ruler from the Misty uh, Creative Corners just so I can can stamp the entire card front here. I'm using Fog Cardstock by Simon Says Stamp, by the way. Um, and I'm also using the removable adhesive on the back of it. So that way it's just I know it's going to stay in place and I'm going to get the entire um, cardstock covered with my image here. So I've got to use my anti-static powder and then I'll stamp it with some clear embossing ink from Simon's Stamp. You don't have to use the removable adhesive if you're using that L ruler. I just, I'm just used to it so it's kind of a double layer of protection. <laughs> and it removes off the back really easy. So I didn't get a very good impression the first time, so I went ahead and stamped it again, but I didn't realize it until I opened it that it looked like the whole bottom half didn't get stamped. Sometimes I have a hard time uh, pressing hard enough on my Misty door, and I don't want to break it. This is the, the older version of it, so it's kind of cracked where it's hinged. Hasn't, hasn't uh, actually broke yet, but I have a feeling I'll be replacing this in my future, but so I try to be delicate with my Misty, but sometimes I have to stamp it again. And then I'm just going to cover it with some silver embossing powder and then heat set it. Looks really pretty, but see how cool that would look with the metallic silver foil over it. It reminds me of the pattern on my um, on the toolbox on the back of my husband's truck. Yeah, see, I'm just going to use my finger and it, that adhesive just rolls right off, right off the back. All right, now I'm going to cut out my, my little hill that my monster truck is going to be climbing up. So I'm just using some craft card stock and I don't know why I didn't just cut it straight across. I, <laughs> When I watch this, it's like, what am I going to do with that tiny little strip of craft cardstock? Uh, this is actually the Nina Desert Storm cardstock. And then I'm using this uh, wavy dye by Lawn Fawn. What is that one called? The Stitched Simple Wavy Borders dye. Just perfect for my little mountain crawl here. So I'm just going to try to figure out how I want it angled and where I want it on my in my little square there. I believe the stitch squares are also from Lawn Fawn. I'll have all my supplies listed in the description below. I should have said that at the beginning, but yeah, it was Lawn Fawn stitched squares that I used. And then I'm just going to go over it with some vintage photo Distress ink and also the gathered twigs. I had one little corner at the top right that bent over when I first started and it gave me issues throughout this whole card making experience, but it didn't break off. So you'll see, I'm going to try to put some foam tape behind it. It doesn't quite work, but all right, so now that I have some color on my little mountain here, I'm just going to take some of that gathered twigs, add water to it, and then this cool tool to add splatter. I was not thinking. I was thinking it was like a paintbrush where you tap it, and then I realized, no, you gotta you got to pull back on the um, bristles, I guess. I don't know what they're called. Pull back, and then when you let go, that's when it um, puts the splatter on your cardstock. But if you saw me at first, I was tapping it, and nothing was coming off. That's why. Sometimes I wish I had a different angle to film because, you know, I get into it and I'm not paying attention and that's a lot of times when my head will get in the shot or like, right, you just saw my hands in the shot and you can't even see what I'm doing. And, and I forget that I'm filming. I need to put big post-its up in front of me. 
So I'm just kind of trying to figure out how I want my monster truck to be. And I, I decided I wanted that back tire to go behind it since I'm going to pop up that whole uh, mountain area or hill. I guess it's a hill, not a mountain. Then I'm going to cut out my dude and I wanted to use this cool paper by Tonic Studios. It's uh, silver silk is what it's called. And I wanted to use it as the background of my card front here where I have the black, but it just didn't look right. So um, I decided just to use it for the top layer of my dude. It kind of matches the the silver in the background. So and it has a cool pattern to it. All right, so now I'm just adding, coloring in the window uh, with N5. I realized I hadn't colored that in yet. And I'm gonna go over it with some glossy accents and I'll go over the mirror and the light, the big light in the back and the bumper. Um, but I, my big head got in the way so I had to cut that whole part out so you won't see that part in here. But in the pictures you might be able to tell that it's shiny. So I just took some liquid adhesive to glue down my card front here. And I'm just adding it to some black cardstock. I like to use liquid adhesive um, to attach my card front to the base or the card base or my background there just because I can never seem to get it straight the first time. And so this, you know, just gives me a couple seconds to move it around and get it straight. So I popped up my little hill here with some foam tape and foam squares um, just to just to give it a little bit of dimension. And then that way I can pop the back tire behind and the front tire in front. So I just didn't put a foam square I, I, on the back tire. I used some uh, blue, kind of like a grayish blue cardstock that I had in my stash for the, the rest of the square, the sky area I guess it would be, because I thought it matched the gray, the fog gray cardstock really nicely. But it kind of looked like it was blending in with the background too much. So I'm going to add uh, a little bit of color to it here in a minute. But first I'm going to glue my two dude pieces together. I have multi-medium matte glue in my syringe now. I like switching it up between that one and the Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive. So... Here's where I'm just going to add a little bit of ink around the edges with the stormy weather, no, stormy, what is it, uh, weathered wood, stormy weather, where did I get that, I don't know, weathered wood is what I'm using, but I just kind of wanted it to stand apart from the gray background. Then I'll use some score tape, I'm going to use some quarter inch, no, this is an eighth of an inch score tape just to make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. And then I'll glue it to my my card base here. And I love the font of this word. Uh, I think it made it look very natural at an angle. I liked it better in, at an angle than I did it going straight across the bottom. And maybe it's just because I was trying to fill up that whole bottom area, but I don't know, I just think it looked better at an angle. So did the hubs. So that's what I went with. And then I used the thinner part of the word to cut out uh, some black craft foam. And then that way it hides completely behind the whole sentiment. You can use the thicker part of the word, but sometimes when you run it through your dye machine, it flattens it out and it doesn't hide completely behind it. So I always just reach for the, if there's a, if there's a, um, a sentiment that I'm using that has two layers like this, I always just use the thinner one and then that way I know it's going to stay hidden behind it. Does that make sense? I hope it does. And then I'm just going to take uh, some fog cardstock and add it to the inside as well with a sentiment. And that's it. That is my card for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll have all the supplies that I use listed and linked in the description below. And I'll also have them over on my blog. If you wanna head over there, I'll have links to the Simon Says Stamp Wednesday Challenge blog if you want to join us this week for an Anything Goes Challenge. If you like this video, please 
like and subscribe, ring the little bell icon so you'll get notified when I post a new video, which is every Wednesday. All right, I'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye.